Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new. I upload beauty bible and lifestyle videos, so if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Alright you guys, so for today's video, I have for you guys my product empties. <laughs> And this is actually not all of it. I tossed a lot of detergent and stuff out because it was overflowing. Like, I had two baskets, so I thought that I would just narrow it down to the hygiene and beauty products and skincare, and that's what I did. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into it and start talking about it. All right, so the first things we're gonna get into is shampoo and conditioner that we used up last month, and we used up these Ren Pure Shampoo, so this one was the biotin and collagen. This was the coconut and vitamin E. I like them. Um, there's nothing special. I really do feel like they hydrate my curls though, and they last a really long time. I only wash my hair once a week, wash the boys' hair once a week. So these last a really long time, and I really like this brand, especially for it to be more affordable. Um, the price of everything is going up right now, so but it is more affordable. All right, you guys, let's try to run through these. Another thing I went through was I finally used up this witch hazel. I don't think I'll be using this again as my toner. I'm going to see if I can find an actual toner and not witch hazel toner. Um, yeah, it didn't do anything. It kind of dried out a little bit even though this does say hydrating. So if anything, I might try to repurchase the one that I'm using now. But I know it's a little bit pricey, so we, we all see. Yeah. Okay, and in my boys' bathroom, they went through a hand soap. Nothing special about that. You can find this brand pretty cheap at Costco. We finished up a whole thing of Q-tips, Q-tips to clean up makeup, Q-tips to clean air, Q-tips to whatever you need them for. Another thing we went through, this was for my boys. Now, I couldn't find the kids one again, but this is the Dr. Till's Kids Body Lotion. This is their um, sleep lotion with melatonin and essential oils. It's really hard to find this for kids. So I'm just using the adult one on both of us, on all of us now, but they, this, this works. Like it, this works. This is why this works. <laughs> That's all I can say. For myself, when I would shower, I was use, using this Dr. Till's um, bath and uh, body oil melatonin. And I would like to I would put this on the loofah with my soap and I would do it that way. This is getting really hard to find too. I guess everybody's having trouble sleeping or whatever the case is, but I really, really like that too. It's so good and your skin is so moisturized after you use it. This was um, one of the Sky Organics Youth Boost Moisturizing Green Tea Face Wash. I've really been trying out more clean products for my face. Like for instance, this has no parabens, no silicone, no minerals, no oils, no dyes. Um, and so I really liked this. This was really good. This is my morning face time or fa face wash. It's just I'm not really sure where you can find Sky Organics. And when I went to buy my last face wash, it, they didn't have this brand, so I just picked up a different, more clean beauty brand. But this isn't too expensive. I believe it's like eleven dollars for the face wash, but it is really good, and I really did enjoy it. And I don't know, cleaning up the products that I use so for my skincare have really helped with keeping my skin clear. As always, you guys, you guys always know that I go through one of these. I love this Curl Boss Gel. One of these is probably gonna be in every single empties video. It's what I use in my hair. So if you love my curls and you want the same curls, get this. Um, we went through some cotton pads. I know I should probably buy reusable ones, but I already have to do so much laundry. I don't feel like washing reusable cotton pads. So we're gonna stick with trash, I guess. Obviously, it was time for the toothbrushes because I threw the toothbrushes in my box. <laughs> um, I went through some tampons, so I did go ahead and buy a new box. This is the new box. I had already disposed of the old box, so I just bought a new box to tell you guys that I did use up some tampons and <laughs> I bought a new brand. So we're going to see what this is. I've also been using more organic type of tampons and stuff too. Okay, baby. Put the crowns back and then you can go watch a movie. And then for, I did go ahead and go through this Tony Moly Moisture Boost um, Eye Serum, cooling, yeah, cooling algae eye serum. It was an eye, it kept it moisturized, I'll give it that. It kept it moisturized, but it really doesn't do much for like dark circles or fine lines or anything like that, but it did keep it moisturized. I got a new eyelash curler, so this one got trashed. Not much, I just, it was time. It was time for a new eyelash curler. Okay, I went through a ton of face masks. Some of these got disposed of because they were expired. So I'll show you which ones got expired first. And it was a lot of the Freeman ones. So the melting sugar, this water gel, and this hydrating one, they all um, 
went bad and I'm trying to stay away from Freeman just because I hear it's not really good for your skin. So I've been sticking more to sheet mask. And so I used this Glow Juice Berry one. I used up this aloe one. Um, this one expired also, this coconut one. This is like Korean, like a Korean brand. I used a Patchology Rejuvenating Eye Gels and I believe I used a nighttime one, but I must not have stuck it in here. But I used a nighttime version of these and then I used a peach mask. And yeah, I've been using one of those like once a week. Let's talk about some of Brian's products that he used up. He went through this good fellow and company um, two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. I'm guessing he really liked it because that bad boy is empty. So now I know what brand I can buy him if he wants his own separate stuff. He went through a black castor oil. He loves using that in his hair. And then this Marble Bath and Body Works body wash. He loves this brand. Not the best for his skin and I'm pretty sure it's making his eczema flare up, but he loves it. So he's a grown man. I let him make his own decisions. Oh, one more of Brian's products that he likes to use in his hair. And by the way, y'all should love me because I have to dig Brian's empties out of the trash to put them in my empties. And another thing that he uses in his hair is the Hollywood Beauty Rich uh, or Hollywood Beauty Almond Oil. So if you have a man who does like the whole wave things, obviously you'd have to be have an African American man. Those are the products he loves for his waves. Um, I went through this Sweet Chef Ginger and Vitamin C shot. This is like um, kind of like a serum. You use it for dark spots. It was in place of a Vitamin C serum. And then I also used up the Sweet Chef Superfood Vit um, Moisturizer. All of those are really good. Um, but I kind of feel like one of these products made me break out. I don't know if it's this or the toner, but one of them made me break out. But I'm pretty sure it's the toner because once I stopped using the toner, I was able to finish this without getting any breakouts. Okay, and let's see, let's see. Oh, I only have one makeup product this month, you guys. Only one. All right, so um, I didn't actually use this up. It spilled. One of the boys took the lid off, and I thought the lid was on there all the way. I stuck it in my drawer, and it spilled everywhere. But I'm not a fan of this. This makes your hair crunchy. It makes your hair stiff. Not a fan of it. It is empty, but not because I used it up. It's because it accidentally spilled. I was using it to finish it, but I'm not a fan of it. So I wouldn't repurchase that again. Kind of happy that that accident happened because I did not want to use it up. And then we used up uh, Sketch and Set, Sketch and, right? Sketch and Set from Tarte Brow Pencil. Um, I also used up the Shea Moisture um, African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Detoxifying Foaming Facial Wash. I used up this, I switched, I'm using the same brand, the same exact charcoal one, only it's not the foaming face wash and I really, really like this. I tell you guys, the more that I try to get like cleaner ingredient products, the more clear my skin stays. So even though this is both of these, this big bottle and the squeezy tube one are both $10, I didn't like paying over $6 for a face wash, but it's turning out to be worth it. So I really liked this. I like the one that I'm using now too that's in the squeezy tube. So if you're looking for a charcoal face wash that's a little bit cleaner than the Bior and all of that, try this one. Try this one. Um, went through another coochie soap. That's the only way I know how to say it. That's what I use this for. I went through another one. <laughs> And then my kids have been using the raw sugar brand. They really, I really like it for them. This is their body wash. And they love it because these look like little monsters and they play with them in the bathtub and stuff. And you know, it just makes my heart happy. So, and they're, the, this is a cleaner, clean, and I'm saying cleaner brand because they still have stuff. It's just a cleaner option. So not as, not as bad, but not as great and it's affordable. So yeah, that's it for my empties, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I just, a lot of the stuff that I got rid of was just like my scent beads. Those didn't change. I went through, I think, four of those. No, two big containers, like the big Costco size containers. I went through about four bags of the Tide Pods. I went through two of my OxyCleans. And I think that's it. I think, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and I also used up one of the little packs of the washer cleaners. I went through one of those, finished up one of those. So yeah, that is it for my empties video, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more, and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, getting a new braces color tomorrow, which is the first of April. So April 1st, I'll be getting a new 
braces colors so let me see I want to know if you guys notice what color I did or anything like that I don't know what's weird but yeah I love you guys always remember that Jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.